matter of fact, what you doing for the rest of your life? Roger that. I'll do anything just to see you smile. Roger that. For your love, I will run. All right. Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to our Sunday, June 13th hangout. I don't know why my computer volume felt so low there. Um, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys because I always am. I'm not that inspired today to share all of this inspirational stuff because life has been insane for me the past few weeks. So oftentimes when we find ourselves, it, it makes me think of my, my Zumba classes because um, I miss teaching in person so much because I get so much energy from the people in class. And I get energy from you guys, you guys, right? So when you show up and you have your questions and all of that, then it gets me inspired as well. And um, we just haven't had that, that get up and go. So I don't have a ton to kick off the call this morning. Uh, I will tell you what I'm going to do for myself. And in terms of like keeping my momentum going, because I know what I want out of this business. I know how much it's changed my life. I know how much I want to pay that forward to other people. So I will definitely plan out my week today. I will be following up with anyone who was someone who would maybe interested in coaching uh, because I have the recording that I can send to them from the webinar, right? So I want to start also talking to more people about coaching because when 645 launches on July 6th, the first two weeks of it is only coaches that can sign up, right? So those people, even if they sign up as a coach and cancel it and just become a customer, they're still your customer. There's no penalty for it. I've had, I had so many people do that for Let's Get Up. Last summer for MBF when it launched, that's what I did was I got everyone signed up as a coach. Whether they stayed or not as a coach is totally up to them, uh, but it's a great way to get to Emerald, it's a great way to build to Diamond if you're gonna get to your discount coaches. Um, and the other two things I just wanted to say is, I've had a few people um, lately like asking me about links and links to send and um, which links they should put in their link tree or their, um, if they're gonna use milkshake on their things. I don't send a link to anyone until I know for sure they're gonna sign up. Because if I'm just looking for a link, I'm, look, I'm just looking for a sale, right? I'm not selling someone, I, I, I do have in my link tree, I have a link to, or not, I use Milkshake for my, um, like the website thing on my Instagram. I do have on there Energize. I do have on there the sample packs of Vegan Shakeology um, because those are things that I use every day. But in terms of a challenge pack or in terms of Shakeology or in terms of, I'm going to have to know exactly what their goal is and have spoken to every single doubt that they have before I'm sending them a share card because I need to know how I'm supporting them. If I'm just supporting them with like BOD, it's gonna look different than if I'm supporting with them with a the challenge pack. So be really careful with links, right? When you're looking for links, that's just a sale. Um, you can definitely create something like a link tree, like a milkshake, um, which are just apps. You go onto your phone and then that creates the, um, the when you go to your Instagram profile. So if you see mine, uh, my Instagram profile at the bottom, it says like milkshake. It's like MK, MSH. And if I click on it, it takes me to this um web kind of a website here but it's got buttons then i can move from page to page on it and see you know interested in different things like there's different buttons on it that, that people can then look at so but i don't get it's not like i get a ton of people going on here going okay um i want to click on the I, I know i have one here for uh like i have energized in there I'm telling you, I don't have people click on that and buy Energize. I have people buy Energize once they know what Energize is because I've had a conversation with them. So that was number one. And number two was um, to always remember that this is a numbers game. So when you have, let's say you have a deck of cards and you have 52 cards in there, there's only ever four aces in that deck. Right. So if I'm only constantly inviting those same people, 
I'm only getting access to the same four aces, which is why you grow your social media so that you have new people coming in. When I look at that 100 challenge sheet that I sent out in, in May, um, the idea behind that 100 challenge sheet is you will have 100 names on there and you might have 10 yeses, might have 10 yeses. That's 90 no's because those no's mean not now. Those no's mean I don't have enough information yet. Those no's mean I haven't conveyed the value of what we have yet, right? So it's not about like, I'm gonna invite 10 people and hope I'm at Emerald. You're not gonna to get to Emerald with 10 people. I can 100% guarantee it. You're gonna to get to Emerald with 100 people that you've invited. So it's constantly challenging yourself to invite more people. And invite, inviting is so much more natural now than it was when Clarissa and I started. When we started, it was literally buy a DVD with your pack of Shakeology and to uh, turn off your subscription if you wanted to turn it off was a pain in the ass, right? Yeah. It was a, and if you wanted to do a new program, you had to order a new DVD. And there was no share card. So no share card. People nightmare. got lost everywhere. Yeah, we, we had to send like the webs, our website. People would be so lost because they didn't know where to go and where to click. And yeah, it was like a complete nightmare. Yeah. But going back to growing your social media, uh, Crystal, I'm going to call you on this. Um, she was just talking about like maybe rebranding her Instagram and everything. She said that she's being blocked because she's sending messages. That was happening to us. I remember the last time that we were on a cruise together. <laughs> that was November um, 2019. And I remember like trying to just like invite, invite, invite. We're being blocked all the time. So that day, that trip, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm meant to be just enjoy my birthday here because the universe doesn't want me to just send a message to anyone. And then another thing that caught my attention is that like you're adding 250 people when you get to sit down. And I was like, oh my goodness, like I need to do that because then you have more people to talk to. You have more people that are looking at your stuff. And anyways, yeah, I was very inspired by you. So thank you. Yeah, that was awesome. And I loved your positivity too. Like maybe I'll just start and start fresh, right? So yeah, yeah it, it's nice because I get to like, I want to kind of do like mental health and like sobriety. And when I started my last one, I was a day, I was running my own daycare. So I was like really hesitant to even touch on any of that because it was like my lifeline, right? So I, right. I didn't want my customers to see that. So now I could just start fresh and, and actually talk to my people instead of, I don't even know who half those followers were. Yeah, exactly. Before. No, that's awesome. And plus um, everyone that's still active on Instagram because my account was from 2017 and it's not everyone that, still active some people they just have an account and they drop from the face of the earth they don't even use it so you just have like that number there but when you go to your comments you don't really have engagement because they're like ghost accounts so what i'm doing also i'm going through my friends from that other account and send a message hey so and so ha happy almost summer by the way i tell to create a new account this is my new one i hope to see you there so whoever is active and want to be follow my journey they're following me on the new one yeah. And really get to know your, your, um, your people, right? In your conversation. So, um, Reiko, I'm going to use your example. You just messaged me, so I'm going to use this example. So she, she had connected with someone because she changed her setting on her Facebook to say like self-employed. And so this person reached out to her. That person, I wouldn't want her to join as a client. I would want her to join as a coach. She, she's, connected with you because of something you changed on your profile that had to do with work. So that person, I'm not trying to sell a challenge pack to because they uh, are a potential client. That person, I'm thinking business potential. She already works out. She has a personal trainer. She wants to gain muscle. You send her a free sample workout and you ask her if she'd be interested in learning about how she can help someone else with this business, right? That's, it's knowing the people that you're talking to and what their pain points were. Why did she even reach out to you in the first place? So that would be a good, a good talking point there. But it is literally like you need to have a good a tracking system of every person. So every no that you get, you should be writing them down somewhere. Because 
how many of you were no's for us in the beginning? Right? Like, well, not Margo. Margo is the only one who Sam, I don't know. Sam. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, Ashley didn't <laughs> jump in. Lisa didn't just jump in. Lisa and I were talking for like two years. Right? If I had just like blown her off and been like, oh my God, this girl is like, she doesn't want to do this with me and assumed that. Oh, Lisa no. was our customer for five years. Right? Like you, you have to be tracking these people because they will come back. This is number one business of like, they're watching you. A, are you staying accountable to your journey? Because if you're falling off, they're gone. <laughs> like, yeah, that girl was just trying to sell me something. But if you are showing up for yourself every single day and sharing those bits of, of how this is helping you, and what you're, even if you're, you haven't made a single penny as a coach yet, what is your vision for that? What is your goal with the financial aspect of it? What are you hoping for in the beginning of it, right? Maybe it's organic groceries. Maybe it's to be able to save up for, you're going to use that money to save up for a trip when we can travel. Like you don't, you need to share those pieces. It's not about being Angie Belmare and being at the top. It's what is this doing for you right now? And that's what's going to bring people in and show it every single day, especially in your stories, type little pieces of what your journey is and talk about it in your social media in a post. doesn't have to be giant things, smaller or the better how, because people don't have the attention span to read it, right? How the journey as a coach has been helping you to be accountable, more accountable, because for me, that was the only thing that helped. And I just signed up like a friend, a good friend of mine. She came to visit me last week and I showed her MBF and, and MBFA. And I was just like, you know what? I hated when I tried. Tamara made me try. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And those little, I was like retarded with the ropes. And <laughs> they went everywhere. Anyway, so I showed her. I was like, you know what? This is like really trimming my, my body. She has 21 day fixed DVDs. She has P9X DVDs. So she left here and I said, I think you should sign up as a coach. She's kind of like with me, uh, like me with the nutrition, kind of all over, <laughs> like I used to be. Anyways, I when she left, I gave her a bunch of uh, energized samples of like, you know what, this is going to give you the gas just to go hard on your workouts. She loves it. She just signed up yesterday with the MBF package and we're going to do it together because she's also not a 5.30 a.m. person, 6.30 like Margot Crew. She's a 10.30 like me, 10.15-ish. So we're going to do MBF. She's going to do the MBF A because I'm already doing that. She's going to just jump and do it with me. And she's a Pilates and yoga instructor. But it was like me. I was a Zumba instructor and teaching so many classes, but my nutrition was all over the place. So I never had any results. I was a little chubby instructor <laughs> with like three brasses like to hold the tatas here <laughs> because it was hard. <laughs> Yeah, so she's going to join. I mean, she's going to start with me tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, Lori, you can go. <laughs> she's like a little bit distracted on her phone. Yeah, I was just seeing if there anyone that had questions. So, um, so that's kind of my thing is remember that it's a numbers thing. And if someone is a no, it's... Uh, I actually put the no's on me because the no is that they don't have enough information, right? Because most people, if they have a cell phone, can afford $160. And right? if they have an iPhone, oh, hell these yeah. are not cheap. Cell phone plans are not cheap. Hell so yeah. if they have this in their life, they can afford it. They just don't know the value of it. And that's on me to share that value. That's not Is it me. wrong to send like I'm trying to do it the way that you kind of recommended me to tomorrow? Like I'm sending the workout. And then what's on sale, but then I'm trying to figure out what their interests and what they like too. And I mean, asking them, then I lose them. Yeah, I don't, I don't tell them what's on sale. Um, I they ask really me about get to this and stuff. So I don't, I don't know what like when. I would invite them to work out with you on the Zoom link. Now that we have that, there's no reason why everyone shouldn't be using it. You guys should all be using it. And Margo, I talked to Christina about it yesterday. And she was like, oh, crap, I didn't even think about that. So she'll <laughs> join from um, her other account. And then because yeah. what was happening is like when on my 530 workouts, because I'm the host of the call, my button at the bottom says end. It doesn't say leave. 
So Christina was joining the meeting as her account, but then when she would leave the meeting, it, it would end. So it would end and everyone that was on the Zoom working out at that time, the meeting would end. So um, she has to join it at, from her other account so that that doesn't happen. Um, but that's how my Leah signed up because I yeah. actually said, come do a workout. Now we have the 24 hour gym. Uh, let's work out together. And she said that helped her so much last week. We kind of did a trial. We did some sample workouts together. We did um, the dance one one day. We did MBF one day. And I think we did those two. And then on Friday, she wanted to sign up. She, I thought she was going to sign up already on Friday so we could start it. But she <laughs> thought that she was going to do something else. Anyways, she did the DVDs. <laughs> But she said, but just knowing that you're going to be there at 1030 and we're going to do it together is holding me accountable. She said her husband works as a police here. So he has four days on, four days off. And husband was at home. It was the, the four days off. And she said, he invited me just like to, you know, lay in bed, so watch some TV and cuddle. And she said, I knew you were there. So I went to a push place. So this is really good for my accountability. We're going to work on the, her nutrition. Well, ba ba but baby steps, yeah, right? Baby but that's steps. what I would do is, uh, is pick a time that you could meet someone on the Zoom because some mm -hmm. of them are not, like, like we said, some of them are not going to want to hop on with us at 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, they don't. And that's okay. And then like your schedule or their work, so. Yeah, so pick a time of hard that works to, that you can meet yeah. them on there. It's open 24 hours. You have access to it all the time and work out together. So fun, so Do fun. it together and talk to them about how we have this community, right? Like, if there's other people on there, don't be talking on the Zoom, like introduce it and say, you know, this is our fit gym, um, explain how to do it beforehand so that they can either use, like on a laptop, you can split your screen so you can have half Zoom, half workout, or they can have a phone and a, a laptop, or they can, like I use my Apple TV and my laptop. So whatever works for them, explain to that beforehand and then hop on yeah. Zoom. Because they're you're building trust with them they need to know that they can actually rely on you to do that right so I I'm pretty confident that most people who follow me on social media know I'm going to show up for my workouts they're they're like oh yeah there's Tamara again she's working out again like it, if I think if I stopped working out people would be like are you okay where did you go like because they're so used to me working out you need to create that for your people and I remember Angie Belmare, she was not number one in the company when we kind of first started. She used to live in a tiny condo and she used to say, uh, your social media is your store. You have to open every day. And by opening every day is freaking posting every day. So don't go and just post seven days after because people are gone. They're like, oh, she's like flaky. Post every single day, open your store. You don't have to have hours to open, but by posting, you are open for business. And that's what Tamara means. Every day, people know that she's going to be there. Yeah. So, and, and you need to create that trust in the people that follow you on your journey. So the people who said no, do I just leave them and then just keep? I write them down. Yeah. It's track really them good. somewhere because they're just a not right now. It's not no. They don't have enough information. Because there's like already a couple of people that are interested already. They said yes. So now I'm kind of like. But if you <laughs> let the people who said no deter you and shake your confidence, then the people who are interested aren't going to sign up. You have to take that on as, okay, they don't have enough information. I'll chat with them again in a month. End of story. Like put it on your follow-up list. And if I assumed that everyone was a no and got sad by their nose, I wouldn't have a business. Okay, let me share a story. I just remembered. There's this lady. There is this lady. She's also, she used to be a zombie instructor and her personality is like very strong. So anyways, this, um, when I was inviting everyone from my Facebook in January, back in January, I just like touched base with her and I say, hey, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. Would you like um, to join me for the sample workout from nine week control freak? And she's like, Oh, sure. So she did. She said, I really wanted to lose some weight for my 40th birthday. Her birthday was on um, April. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, we can help. And then because she said that, I was like, look, that's how I look now. Um, this is my transformation. She's like, wow, you look amazing. I would love to like work on my nutrition too and maybe do your workouts. Anyways, 
um, I sent a bunch of options for her. She lo she loved the workout. And then what happened was uh, I decided to go with hot yoga or yoga, whatever she was doing. What did I do? I remember her birthday was April. So close to April, I was like, so how are you doing? How are your goals doing? Uh, your goals going? Um, are you at your goal that you wanted to be for your birthday? Like, she's like, it's hot, hot AF. That's what she said, hot AF for 40. I was like, sure. So how are you there? And she's like, uh, no, my yoga and this and that. Anyways, I sent her another message now. How she's doing now, it's like almost June, right? If you'd like to, to try another sample workout. And she's like, you know what? I think I'm almost ready for a change. So she's coming. <laughs> she's coming. Right? And it's just following up with them. Uh, you have to have a good system of follow-up and you have to have faith that as you grow as a coach and you understand it better, you will be able to convey the value of it better with more confidence, right? And if, they, if those no's are shaking you, you have to do more personal development because that no is not a reflection of you. That no is a reflection of them not having enough information. So it's, yeah, like Margot was holding up the compound effect right now. You are a badass. Girl, wash your face. Girl, stop apologizing. Like, all of those ones to give you that like, okay, I have to keep, I, I think of it this way. So um, we have a gift that can save, literally save people's lives. And if we are not inviting, we are withholding that gift. We are preventing someone else from feeling as good as we feel because of some idea that we've created in our head about why they might not want this no that's a bullshit story that's a cop-out story what did it uh, right the train, where i remember in a very he said beginning, don't play god or a very beginning like our first year as a coach i remember i was in brazil doing the call from my niece's uh, room i had my twin nephews already and i was there for a while and i remember watching the call because i remember telling my parents like I have to be on the calls no matter what, no matter what we're doing, no matter where we are. I have, this is my, this is my career now. I told them and it's like, and that's why I can be in Brazil with you guys because I have the flexibility, but my calls are no matter what. And I remember watching this tray and that's what Tamara said, that he said, don't play God. Don't create a story in your head. Say, oh, they don't need it. Yeah. And he, for me, it was like, oh, she's fit already. She doesn't need it. We, and I we all that. do it. I and had that. We all do it. I do it too. And I have to stop myself. And if I find myself in that phase of like not inviting because of some story I've created in my head, I stop. I go listen to personal development. I put on some, some great music. I bring my energy up because when I bring my energy up, then they're going to feel that on the other end. Right? So it's, we, we truly have a gift to share. Every single human knows that it's fitness and nutrition that is going to help them get to their goals. So why is the majority of the population struggling with weight, struggling with, right? Mindset. My, it, because, because we know what the answer is. Every, you can ask a, a kindergarten student, how would someone get healthy? Work out and eat good. Like it, it's, not, it's not rocket science. What happens though is we create so many pathways in our brain and we sabotage ourselves all the time as humans. We are a very interesting species when it comes to this stuff. I was number right? one. So I'm going to lose the weight for summer. We have a gift that can save someone's life. And you don't know what that person on the other end of the message is going through. The number of times that I think of Jasmine. So when Jasmine and I first connected, Jasmine was in a horrible place in her life. Horrible. And I just reached out every like couple months. How are you doing? I'm sending, thinking of you, sending you some love. There was nothing there that was like salesy or forceful or it was just genuine from the heart. Give a shit, care about her because of what she was going through, because of what I went through. Like we're humans. We need to have that compassion and that empathy for each other. So I'm going to assume the person on the other end needs me at some point in their life, needs what we have at some point in their life. And if they block me because I've sent them a hundred messages, then they don't, then I wasn't their person. Maybe they're going to connect with someone else. But if I take that on personally, it, it's, it's going to slow my momentum down. And I know I have a gift 
to share. I have another story. I have another story. <laughs> I have another Zumba participant that took like forever to sign up with me. And we're always like keeping in touch. I always comment on her photos. She loves the skiing. She started skiing like later in life. So sometimes I would meet her on the mountain. Anyways, one day, she said no that time. She wanted and then husband said, no, I'm not on board. And her husband is like bigger now because she her cooking is amazing. Anyways, um, she signed up last year finally. She lost a, lot, a bunch of weight. She loves it. And the other day I was just like touching bases with her. I was like, how are you doing? She's like, I love it so much. I wake up, I have my coffee, I do my workout and I don't have to go anywhere. Thank you so much for bringing this into my life. I don't have to go anywhere. She loves it. And then I was like, oh, thank you. And, yeah. and then it was funny because like last month we had the $40 discount, right? So I messaged her and her package was like um, renewing this month. She's like, I'll cancel. I want the discount. Yes, please. So she signed up <laughs> one month before because she loves it so much. And she's like, thank you so much for thinking of me. This is amazing discount. Yeah. yeah. So remember that. Remember that when that itty bitty bitchy committee gets loud in your head, that you have a gift to share with other people. Record their name, come back to them next month. Invite them to a workout, invite them to the webinar, right? Listen to what they're truly saying, find out what it is that they need, that you only find that out through conversation. So, uh, enough for me. Yes. Hi, hello. <laughs> so about, this is, uh, it's about the inviting. When you guys are talking about inviting, 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 um, do you mean two different things? One, inviting people to your social media, um, and then the second, just sending messages to people and checking in because I'm going through a bit, some of the training videos as well. And, and I'm, I'm hearing this term and it sounds straightforward, but then I think about actually doing it. And, um, one, like you said, you only have, um, four aces in your deck of cards. So how do you grow your social media? I am, I'm a scientist. I work on the computer all day with people who don't speak to me. So <laughs> meeting people is like really not an easy thing for me. So am I like, do I, you know, go on uh, group pages about Shih Tzu Pomeranians and like yeah. random people? Like what are some of the strategies people on here use to invite people to their social media? And two, is it also about sending people private messages and say, hey, how are you without sounding too salesy? Yeah. So number one, I love your question. Thank you, Sam. Um, number one, I would say the first part of it was connect. So connecting yeah. is, is the part of yeah. bringing new people to your social media. Um, and that would be, so on Facebook, I find on Facebook, it's super easy because you literally go to like suggested people, friends of friends, friends of friends, and just add friends that way. Um, I know someone shared, I think it was Holly Hillier shared that if they have 10 mutual friends in con like in common she adds them right away um i generally look at their profile a little bit to see because like, have i've come across vibe. some pretty interesting people on facebook so i will have a quick look at their profile before i click yeah. on that on instagram you can do things like i would i would do things like your uh, pomeranian or whatever those sorts of things uh you might want to look up like home like home um a scientist works from home kind of thing right like other people that are into science as well the other thing that i found that works for me on instagram is if you go to like when you're scrolling and you come across a sponsored post and it's actually something you like like that you might be interested in buying it click on the likes of that post and the people that liked it start going through them and following them and then for everyone who follows you, I haven't had a ton of success on hashtags. Sarah Batiste has grown hers a lot through hashtags, but for me, I feel like when I search hashtags, I'm not, maybe I'm not creative in my hashtags. And so I end up just finding coaches. Um, so I just kind of stayed away from hashtags and use sponsored posts as more, or like a big account that I like, like uh, Bird's Papaya. If I like one of her posts, I don't go to her followers. I go to the people that liked the post. And then I start finding people from that. So those are ways for me that have worked. Um, and then anyone who, and that's connecting. 
So then anyone who follows me back or accepts my friend request, I send a message to. It's like uh, super simple. So if it's a friend on Facebook, I'm like, hey, thanks so much for that for the ad on Facebook. I love adding um, people with uh, positive energy into my life. Um, how are you doing? Kind of like really, really simple. Um, how, are, how have you been holding up this past year? Those sorts of things. It's an easy conversation with the COVID, you know, like, and then you start getting to know them that way. Um, so that would be my connecting part. And then for inviting, it would be people who watch my stories, people who like a post, people who I wouldn't go to those new people and just invite them to a workout or invite them to, it would be somebody who is already engaged in my stuff in some way. And then there was like one lady that she just went 15 star by inviting people, everyone from her story because she asked the people and she said, if they're watching my story and they've been watching my story like daily, they know what I do so I can invite. And, and she will say things like in the first invite, she'd be like, hey, I see you watching my story. You got to join me. This is amazing. Like she'll do that. Would you like to try a sample workout? That would be my approach. And then if the people don't reply, because a lot of people don't reply. They ghost you. I don't even think they ghost you. So here's the difference between between Clarissa and myself is I have three kids. I work full time. I coach. I teach Zumba. I um, like I have so much on the go that I will read a message and forget to reply. And so I assume that everyone else is like me and that they read the message and just forget. And then they're like, oh, shit, like a week later, like I forgot to reply to that person. So that serves me in when I send them another message because then I'm like, oh my God, I totally like read your message and completely forgot and life, you know, bit me in the ass and how are you doing, right? Like then I can reconnect that way by just owning it because then most often people are like, oh my, I do that all the time, ha ha ha, right? So it- And usually I say, oh, she just ghosted me and Tamara's like, no, they have kids, they have crazy lives and yeah, blah, 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 not just ghosting. assume the best, not the worst. It's like, okay. Yeah. Can so, I say something? Um, yeah, just um, let me finish with the with okay. the invite. So make sure you're inviting from from those people, and then track those conversations. So not new people that you've brought in. You don't need to track a new person that you are just brought into your social media. Only when you've got to the place of like in inviting them to a workout or trying the the sample workout or um, joining us for the webinar. Those are the people that you're tracking. Yeses and nos. And Sam, I have a tip. If it's on Instagram, actually it was Danae that did um, said that in one of her calls and I absolutely loved it. If someone that has some sort of interest, I um, flagged their message. She taught me how, I was like, this is brilliant. So I flagged the message and I moved to the general folder because usually they're in a primary folder. So then I move her, I, I move the people, like fla I flag them and I move to general folder. So I, I have like this, that sometime in our conversation then had some sort of interest. So like for the webinar, basically I went back there and I kind of invited everyone. Boom. So you should have, because you're, uh, you should have a primary and a general folder in your Instagram. And the way that you get that is by changing to either creator account or a business account. If you just have a personal Instagram account, you won't have two folders. Oh, I think I so have. because you have a creator account. Probably. Yeah. So you need to make sure that you have a creator account. Um, I like the creator account because it then goes to my personal Facebook. Uh, whereas if you use a business account, it goes to like a Facebook business page, which doesn't really get any engagement. So, um, so that's why I went with creator on my personal one. Ours is a, I think we're actually creator on this one now. Cause I was trying to figure out how to get like the captions on our, on our Instagram. And then in those messages, so I, the thing with, that I like about it too is once you've switched it to a creator or a business, you can mark them on red. So if you just like swipe over um, on the message, it'll show you some different options. So I can unread it, which is great. And if I click on more, it gives me the option to flag the message, right? So then I can look at that message and it also gives me the option to mute it. So. That was that happened to be you, Sam, but I don't really want to mute you. So yes. <laughs> we love you. So I hope okay, so Rico, what was your question? Coming back to you now. It's not really a question. Like I'm real I'm really like a beginner in Instagram. And 
to maybe help you. Like I'm a very, um, I'm, I don't mind saying hello and follow back to new people. And a lot, like since I started, I had like probably like 10 uh, followers uh, join me on my profile. And then sometimes I don't know what to say. Um, I just kind of like reach out to them. And what Tamara said, um, how are you doing? What are your interests in? And then I stopped because some of them, their background, I also look in hashtag like uh, health and fitness and they already have a personal training business like self-employed. So I asked them, um, oh, how long have you been? I saw that you're a personal trainer. How long have you been teaching? Uh, how long have you been a personal trainer for? Mm -hmm. Do you teach online or are you do in person? I go from there because I said, because we have Max, coach. we have how many personal trainers in our team? We have Renata, yeah. we have, because then they can have the nutrition plus the days that they're not personal training the people, they can use uh, beach body programs and have the best results and so I'm kind of like connecting with them and getting to know them instead of like oh hey you know you want to come yeah. join me instead I of like how long taking some time doing? and I don't know like what to post sometimes so I'm just starting slowly uh, that's why I send out that calendar though right so you guys should all be like if you don't know what to post use the calendar use that monthly like posting ideas mm -hmm. calendar and plug those posts in and talk about one of those things on there because some of them don't message back to Sammy. So of um, most of them, I would say the majority <laughs> of people don't message back. It's up to us to then keep that momentum going. When we first started, we're supposed, there was no stories and we're supposed, uh, they told us, Angie and Christina, they used to say that we had to post three to five, five times, times a, a day. day. And I was like, what am I going to post now? So I got the Fonto app. So that's why yeah, I don't know if you no, are on my was Instagram. Words, okay, <laughs> that, was, that was after. So I got the photo and we started creating our own um, cool. quote. So we Google uh, motivation for the day. And then whatever quote you really designate with, you go there and you create your own photo because it looks nicer. It's, so that's why on my page has like pink, beautiful stuff. And I try to like to organize them in, and so, that time I remember I used to post Nikes because we loved Nikes. And before even creating our own quotes, we would just like kind of like find a quote, screenshot, and repost that quote. So if you scroll down our free to be girls, uh, you're gonna see all that. It was all about motivation because we wanted to motivate people because that time we didn't really believe in ourselves. Um, I my transformation and our big hit was June 2015. So in the very beginning, January, February, March, April, May, uh, we're just like doing motivation, let's say, right? Mm -hmm. That was not much transformation. I was hiding. I was chubby. Tamara had already the perfect body and I was using her for the videos. Do pile. I'm going to video you. Do, do pile. So we're just like trying to come up with content, but five to uh, three to five times a day was hard. We're lucky now that we get and now his yeah. story is for the garbage let's say i see not light not uh, the food doesn't like doesn't have to look perfect put in the stories for your feed it should look like a magazine yeah. otherwise people are not really gonna like oh this page i don't agree whatever i don't agree i, I me, feel like I now think, because yeah. of remix reels and things like that the only suggestion i have there is because I feel like if I, if we say magazine, then everyone's going to get paralyzed because, and you're not going to post because you're paralyzed. Make sure you have good lighting, face the window when you take a picture so that the natural light from the window is on your face. Right. Window. So it's, it's those two. I don't think it needs to be magazine quality. It just needs to be good lighting. Right. And then like Christina said, if you, Pleasant to the eyes, let's put this way. Yeah, if you are struggling with content, go onto Google and type in yeah. motivation quote. Yeah, I learned And literally from. write that in your, take a picture of yourself and be like, I needed this today. I learned that. From and then, Christina. and share that. So that there's something there that um, resonates with you. And for my quotes now, I do that. And everything that I do, everything that I like, I screenshot and I'm making fun to my own quotes. And then I have ready when I need to go and post my quotes, it's ready already somewhere in my phone. So I try to make it like easier. How about like someone who 
is interested, but they're like, everyone seems to be knowing what they're doing. Like all the coaches are like working out, they have a good body, but then there's someone who's a beginner who wants to lose weight, but they're not. But then they're letting they're intimidated. Get, but then they're, they're letting themselves get intimidated by it. That, that's on them, that's personal development, right? There's no coach on our team that is at their 100% goal that would not be there to support another coach. The whole point of this journey is to, to share the ripple effect of health. How do I share the ripple effect of health if I'm not there to support someone who's just starting? That's on the starter. The starter has to be willing to lean on the community. The starter has to be willing to do the personal development to push themselves to that place because the community is already there for them. For me, I brainwash myself every day because I still struggle with nutrition. I have my affirmations every day. I do my meditation and I have to brainwash this because my mindset sometimes goes back. And because I had struggle with nutrition and um, eating disorders, binge eating, you name it. I brainwash myself every single day, every single day. And it's funny because I found a picture of me and I showed Tamara, I was like, look at my belly here. I already started beach body, but I gained like 10 pounds. And I, and I told Tamara, do you remember why? Do you remember why? And she's like, no. I was like, it's because a friend of mine came to visit us in January and she had this habit of eating popcorn in the evening. And I adapted to my life. So then after she left, I was eating popcorn every evening. I would have my containers and that was my bonus popcorn. And I would do caramelized pop popcorn, salted popcorn, savory, you name it. Every night, popcorn. What happened? 10 pounds. And I have the picture and I was like, that was when she came and I incorporated her habit and like how a one tiny habit compounded from January to May um, for me to get those 10 pounds. And they kind of like, they slowly crept in. So I didn't really see until I was like, holy. And then that's when to be mindset came and we had to unlock, it was like $200 that time. I think it was 2017 or 2018, I'm not sure. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it. And that program, was when like really worked my mindset because my mindset was not really there. Yeah, I followed the containers, I re had results, but I was still like back and forth. Not like huge, but I was still there. So that's why I do my meditation. I do my affirmations every morning. I say, I only crave, I only crave foods that nourish my body every single day. And I always say that because it's a fight for me. And I think it's going to be a struggle for the rest of my life. I'm just looking back on our social media and how bad it was. <laughs> you got to start somewhere. It was not pretty. There's look, there's Clarissa's popcorn. Right there. <laughs> she posted her popcorn right there. Um, a coffee mug like you got to start somewhere so it's not like I don't expect you guys to have magazine feed we posted shoes that weren't even ours shoes that weren't even ours because we were told to post three to five times a day so how do you in your feed you know how do you come up with three to five times a day in your feed with it looking beautiful <laughs> so thank I'm thankful for stories now because they can be like bad lighting and and you just put it in the just story, put it in the story and it's gone in 24 hours, hours so yeah. So do your PD. Remember, you have a gift to share with other people. Sam, did I answer all of your um... questions about inviting and connections? Yes, um, that was super helpful. I am definitely going to look into people who I connect with. Um, sorry, who I we have mutual friends in common. I mean, um, that, that that's a really great tip. Um, and the last part of my question that I was going to ask basically to everyone on this team is if they um, created a separate account just for this eventually and um, invited people from their initial um, Facebook. I mean, Facebook has been around for so long that we probably all have, you know, more than three, 400 friends. So that's kind of a helpful place to start. That's what I found. But um, I do wonder if I just need to move that all into a specific fitness account or something I, okay so here's my thought would you follow a fitness account 
Right. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would be like, yay, there's the fitness fairy. Unfollow. Unfollow. I don't care about a fitness account. I care about someone's real life experience. I care about knowing what someone is going through, the ups, the downs, the um, right, the the real life of it all. So for me, I would be a giant unfollow instantly. So I don't ever re- recommend, I mean, Crystal is different because she was experiencing like getting blocked all the time, which is like insanely frustrating. So I don't ever recommend someone not to start a new Instagram account because it's a lot of work. You but already have, have the foundation have there. So yeah, Emma's done well with it. Emma um, grew really fast her fitness yeah. account, but she posts kind of like everything. It's not just fitness. She, yeah. and she made a beautiful account. I think now she has almost 800 um, followers. And also my best friend, she didn't want to like show like, her babies under very little. And there was some material that she didn't want to like open to the world. So she said, I'm going to open a new account. And she's being really successful with that too. So I think if you're going to put the time and energy into it, um, I'm reading Lisa's comment here. So Lisa said, I always feel afraid to find people about the MS because I feel most people don't believe they can do the same new Instagram account. Um, I, that's just a limiting belief. You are proof that anyone with MS can do it. And you need to show that with confidence and with your authenticity. Um, and that's what will bring people in. The more you keep showing up, the more they will believe that, that they can do it too. Right. So it's, there's two ways of looking at it. You can have that fear um, because they've been told and, and you know, this experience firsthand, you, you were told when you got your diagnosis, you'd be in a wheelchair within 10 years. Right. And you were like, fuck that noise. Like, I'm not, I'm not living that life. I'm going to be someone who, who goes the other way. So you know what these people have been told. You know those, speak to those points. Because that's what's going to be like, holy shit. Well, if she can do this dance work, why can't I do the dance workout too? You know what I mean? Like you, you have that gift to, I'm probably going to get emotional. You have that gift to help someone with that little tiny spark inside. And that spark will grow. And it will grow and it will grow. And imagine then what that spark in them does to someone they connect with. And by you not sharing that, that spark, that person doesn't, do you know what I mean? Like it is such a gift that you have. You have that passion. You had it when you got your first diagnosis of like wheelchair and you were like, seriously, like, fuck that. I'm not being in a wheelchair in 10 years. And you made that decision in your head. Some people don't have that strength right? That mental like ability, they just accept it. And if you accept it, then that's what becomes your reality. So you could be that like little tiny, you know, it comes from you through the computer, through their phone. And they're like watching and watching and watching and watching. And they're like, well, why can't I do it too? And then they try and then they fail and then they try again and then they fail and then they try again and they keep going and they keep going and they keep going because you Set that spark. Okay, I just remembered one story. I, I usually I get emotional uh, when I see Christina and I see like most of our ladies, most of our team like on a workout or in a webinar. I was like, oh my goodness. Because I had zero confidence in myself. Uh, to do this business, I said, can we do this together? I found it, but I was like, can we do it? Because I know that by myself, I wouldn't do it. I was going through an ass divorce. I was hiding. I was like a hermit. I was the turtle inside the shell. And, and then, so now when I go back and I see, and I had to work on my mindset a lot. I had to do, a, you are a bad ass. It's like my Bible is the one that like, I is to brainwash myself with you are a bad ass to believe in myself. Uh, I, I came a long way over the years, but I still have to. And when I see Christina and I see most of our ladies and I was like, <gasps> because I said, let's do this together. That's why like uh, people that connect with Sam, with MJ, MJ and Crystal and Margo, I would never have connected with them. It's all because of you and our team grows. And it's like the ripple effect that Tamara was saying is really, really close. And one more story. There is one black lady that she was already like, really like not at top, but she was already, I think elite. She came to speak one of the summits one day and she, 
kind of like she went there. So like, oh, she looked around in summit and like 25,000 people. And she's like, there's not many people like me. So she had a commitment that she was going to bring more black ladies to summit. So she started like hashtagging like black hair, Afro hair products and a bunch of things. I, I just know that gives me like goosebumps because yeah. she says like the following year, she asked them to wear <laughs> red. It was so, insane. And it was like explosion of black ladies wearing red. So that I like, this is so amazing. Powerful. That's the power of the ripple effect that Tamara was talking about. So then I challenge you, Lisa, for you to have your tribe, the MS ladies. Right? What color? All over, girl. That's my challenge for you. Right? Um, I just saw Crystal's message. I'll get on that in a sec. Uh, Sir Galeen, I see you have a question. Do you want to go? Yes. Okay. It's real quick. What is it? Good morning. It's afternoon, though. Okay. Um, I went um, shopping. Uh, school shopping for the kids, not school shopping, I'm pick up arts and crafts. And um, in my zone, I've done my workout. So I'm in my, I'm in a whole different zone now. <laughs> Somebody bumps into me and goes, oh my goodness, do you work out? And I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> and she goes, um, I need some information. Like, how do I get started? I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Remember I'm behind social media all the time. I know what to say um, behind social media, but when she bought, I was like, um, um, <laughs> so I was like, you know what? So I wrote my Instagram on a piece of paper and gave it to her. I was like, send me a message and we can chat then. Cause she was at work and I'm shopping and I didn't know what to say. So I was like, I got to ask Tam, what do I do in a situation when I meet someone face to face? <laughs> You have to carry an energized sample in your bag and yeah. you're like, shot, 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 <laughs> shot, shot. <laughs> Honestly, I would be like, uh, I would I, I would probably be like you and freeze. Yeah. Right? Because I still remember Clar uh, Clarissa and I walking in Mexico and this guy walked by us and he's like, holy, how much, how much do you squat? squat? <laughs> and I was like, what? Like, who that? That was the best compliment. They don't exactly there. have small legs. Um, but so that one caught me off guard. So I would probably be the same, but just in that moment, all the it. same, but just great. direct her to your social media. Um, if you did happen to have a sample in your bag, like you could always give her that. I or didn't have say, anything. It was just arms and legs and just walking and shopping. Yeah. Well, because you look <laughs> amazing, amazing and you're radiating. I right? saw you dancing yesterday, yeah. so I was like, shit, God damn. Yeah. Oh, that's how we're saying now. That's what we do at home. We just music and Instagram videos. Yeah, exactly. And then the other thing would be like, um, you could probably yeah, say to her like, I, I we have sample oh, workouts. I would love to look you up. I so can't if remember. you shoot me a, a quick message on Instagram, I can send you some of the samples so that you can try it yourself. And you also can ask, what's the best way for me to contact you? Yeah. And if they want to give their phone, that's another one too. Okay. And I think in that situation too, if she's open and, and if you had the time, okay. you could be like, Oh my gosh, girl, I like, I connected with these people and I watched them for like so long on social media. And then one day I just decided I had to jump in and it's been life changing for me. I love the convenience of it. I love that I can do it from home. My kids are part of this journey with me now. And I would love to connect you with a workout, That's like something awesome. like that, right? I would feel so flattered if someone yeah, was like, you go. I was, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That's an awesome compliment yeah. for sure. Yeah, it is because I because I I know I feel good on the inside, but I didn't know it was showing on the outside because I see myself every day. So I'm like, well, I still look the same, but I do know that you change, glowing, changes girl. have been made on the inside. You're but glowing. it's good to know that somebody else sees it. <laughs> yeah, well, and the thing with that too is like your our skin changes, our yeah. the way our posture changes, yeah. our everything changes when we could you know we're hydrated, we're fueled, we're we're taking care of ourselves like everything changes so the energy we give off is so different right right so i'm so happy that you got that experience and you got to experience it in person and not like yeah it's great to get it through social media but to have it someone say yeah. it to you like that is like i have goosebumps, right right, I right. Have goosebumps. yeah so i'm so happy you got that experience yay <laughs> look at you inspiring people just because you went out shopping right? <laughs> <I know. laughs> 
And I think that goes to like the power of what Christina has been sharing a lot of is the um, connecting with people in person as well and sharing that in person mm -hmm. um, so that so that they know. That's why when Leah came to visit me, like Leah, you need to check out this workout because she's from the DVD times. Like, yeah. Crap this DVD shit. Don't, nobody wants to be learning I don't even DVDs. have a DVD player anymore. Watch mm -hmm. this. Look, I do here. Look at my little gym here. I was like giving her a tour. Yeah. So congrats. Um, so Crystal shared in the chat. I don't know uh, if you know, but her, so Crystal's from a, a prior team and her coach told her, and I, was it your coach too that said that if you're not diamond, you're nobody? Was that you? Mm. Yeah. You don't matter. You don't matter pretty much is what her former coach told her. And I was just like, holy shit. Like, no. What kind of tribe you're building if you don't like yeah. you don't matter the person, right? Yeah. What kind of tribe, what kind of vibe you're sending? No, no, she won't that's even not talk us. to people that aren't diamond. You anymore. all matter. We're all yeah. in different stages of our journey. We all matter. Wasn't that one of the um, banners in Nashville? Was everybody matters? Yeah, every year they have a different um, slogan. Same slogan. Yeah. Um, but so she was saying, like, her coach said, only show the good stuff, only show the highlight reel, right? And so she said, she, like she her life is messy she shows the mess and she feels way more authentic and way more natural and I think sometimes I have to show the mess once in a while because everyone thinks I am some fitness unicorn but so I do show the raw and the and the what's you know what's going on and the those sorts of things because it's not always sunshine rainbows and and unicorns so yeah so anyway before we finish I would like to ask you all of you now we're kind of rebranding our page and we would like like to start um, showcasing all your results and transformation. So please go to your pic collage, put your before and after, send our way. We'd love to fit you, feature you, uh, the Fresh Fit Girls I think page. it would be cool if we started sharing our transformation pics in the Freshman Free to Be chat because then you can go to the media, right? Like in the chat and just you get... Star? Well, you don't even have to star oh. them because if you go into the... So for those of you that don't know and maybe you're... Don't so look how bad our page was. Look at how bad. You guys, we have all have to start somewhere. So if you go into the chat um, on the freshman free to be and you click at the top, it'll give you the, it'll say media links and docs. And if you go to media, all the pictures that have been shared over, you know, the entire duration of the chat are there. So you can, you can use those at any time. Um, so it would be, I think it would be really helpful if we all started just sharing like a transformation in that chat so that we can showcase um, you guys as well, right? And don't, MJ, and remember, it doesn't I, have to be a, in a huge transformation. MJ, hashtag goals, I want your arms. Yeah, I know. You look freaking amazing. We are Seriously. Arms. Seriously. Okay, I, I need one more thing. We need to take a picture so everybody smile. And I, did I was going to say, the last thing we need is I've not heard Margot speak this entire call. Wow, so that is amazing. Margo oh, better say it's something. because she, we talked for two hours yesterday. Okay, I'm Thank you, Bobby. Maggie's paws stuck in my hair. <laughs> okay, Margot. So I'm listening to all of you guys and I always write notes. So I want to say to Lisa, Lisa, if you're not a member of the BOD members only group i don't know whether you are can you see that that is a great group of inspiring i can't tell you how many people i have seen in there i work with people with, who suffered traumatic brain injury and stuff like that so they motivate me every day but in this group there's all sorts of people that have all sorts of different things uh, health health um issues and they have and then they post in there that's amazing and it's almost like it's almost like a safe place. There's 96,300 people in here. But when you post something about your workout and, and what you've been doing in this group, you will get probably a minimum of 100 people cheering you on. And, and think, think, that, think that this is a safe place too. What, you'll get your confidence in here because literally, I, I think I've only posted once in there and I can't remember what it was, but it was, you know, maybe my age or my not being able to keep up with the youngins and all that stuff. And I had, don't worry about it. You got this from Texas, from the UK, from like all these people. And I'm like, what the hell? What? <laughs> Who are all these people? And why are they cheering have me you, on? 
Margo, have you seen the lady in there that she doesn't have um, her arms. arms? Like yeah. her arms yeah. end here? Yeah. yeah. And she yeah. has, um, she still lifts weights with them. Like I saw yeah. her doing the one arm plank with the rotation. Yeah. yeah. With them hold, holding on to weights. Like it's so inspiring. The guy okay. in there, Brian Wolf, he's my favorite. He did Let's Get Up. His, he is such a fitness guy, not a dance guy. And he showed every single Shanti remix in there. And it was like insane. The energy, like I was like, he turned them into like these crazy aerobic moves, but he rocked it every time, yeah. like goosebumps. I was like, dude. I know, I right? know. So, so I yeah, find, start sharing in there it. because it'll give you that extra like, okay, if, if these people are cheering me on, then I can definitely go connect with. Yeah. Right? If someone has something negative to say, that's on them. That's not on you, my friend. That's on them. That's and we have a um, Lisa's trying to say something. Is that I was gifted this amazing, amazing, amazing treatment that literally changed my life. I can't really hear you. It's yeah, like super muffled. I, oh. I don't know why. Why well, fun? Uh, my phone is really oh, okay now we can, I can hear, hear you better now can you please say it again can you hear me better now okay yeah. yeah um i feel that sometimes though that people would be like i have not had that opportunity to have i can't do this i can't walk but then when i went to your ms dance i think it was an ms zumba that lady there who had ms like i did um maybe more progressive I don't really know but she was still doing it from a chair so I'm like I guess at that point you just show people that even if you cannot do it in the same way that it still is possible like, absolutely yeah 100% and and that's what happens mm -hmm. to so many people that happens with age too people stop coming to my Zumba class and they're like oh I can't do it anymore and I'm like no you can you just can't do it like your brain remembers you could do it. And until you get to the place where you can accept that. Where you are in life. Where you are in life and just enjoy being with other people and the music and the energy of it, right? Like you're missing out on that because of some idea of how you should be able to do it. So just keep sharing your light, girl. Can I share? Yeah. yeah. It definitely is, you know, yeah. it's like a work in progress, but in one month's time, you know, the transformation is like, so I minutes a day, guys. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> um, Go, Sam. No, I was here, so I um, started talking to Tamara and Clarissa um, because I lost mobility in my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I was recently diagnosed with connective tissue disease, and I actually haven't shared this with a lot of people at all. So, and that's why I lost the mobility because I stopped working out and my connective tissue really like tears away at it's itself. Yeah. Hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. And I'm actually, um, it's starting to impact my organs. So my heart and, and um, my, my gut, because of course you need connective tissue to keep those <laughs> organs functioning. And um, it wasn't, I don't, feel it as much I gained my mobility in my shoulder back and Tamara and Clarissa said exactly those words to me like you have to work with what you have right now and you will get there I was like I'm not going to get this mobility back and I was like holy crap and then to hear my diagnosis I was like okay so I I, I just saw a, like myself go through a period where I couldn't at all like I couldn't do a jumping jack because I couldn't pull my shoulder up and then I, I was like crying with them I was like I want to do this program but I can't I just can't move my shoulders and they're like well just don't do the shoulder mm -hmm. part or like just you know and then I just kept working on everything else and suddenly I'm back on doing planks and everything so I am not as wow scared um anymore because I could see that by with just nice yeah, I, I totally thought about you, Sam, but I was like, when Lisa was sharing that, but I was like, I, I'm not going to share because you're here, like, if you want to share, and then I was like, oh, Sam, yeah, <laughs> share, 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 please share, thank you, yeah. it makes me really happy for you. Yeah. Margo, did you I mean, I definitely get you, I get you on the arm part, I just sit there, and if it's, like, too hard, and my shoulders start to burn too much, I just start to look like a chicken. 
Hey, it's okay. And it's I just good. pause. Like I press pause so many times in my workouts. I cannot even tell you. I <laughs> Yeah. I've been quite shocked that I've been able to actually make it through every workout so far. So I'm like, dang, girl, we can all do this. Yeah, That's exactly. Awesome. And that energy is what we <laughs> Good for you. Thank you. Marco? Definitely. What are you going to say? Well, I wrote down a bunch of stuff and now we're past an hour. So it's okay. Sure. Just quickly, you can wrap us up. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, uh, speak quick. Uh, for the ladies on this call, um, as far as uh, the team that you guys are on, when you are talking to people about coaching or whatever, please understand that this is probably one of the most supportive. This is the, the most supportive team I've ever heard, seen in anything I've ever done. So when you're introducing people to the coaching opportunity, they're going to be with all these amazing people. And so look at it as a, a huge positive. Don't get, what are they going to say if I say this? Just say it and move along like it because they're going to once they do you might talk to 10 maybe one will jump in and once they get to know all of you guys and we all work together magic happens so don't yeah. get over say that we're the bonus the community is a bonus you don't have to pay for us <laughs> now, the, the live workout the thing that you were saying this is a, another thought and we can think about this later on in in, in time but i work out at 6 30 tamara works out at 5 30 in the morning uh, Clarissa works out at 10 30. Now, if I have a person who wants to work out at one o'clock in the afternoon and it's during the weekday and I'm at work and I can't do it, but she really is interested in hearing more. Maybe I'm just throwing I can be available to work out with her. Yeah. I, I say maybe we can do a, a three way Zoom first and I'll say, oh, my, uh, hi, Jennifer. This is Clarissa. Clarissa, she's uh, she has a time at one o'clock on Thursdays so we'll, we'll meet we'll introduce you to her so that when she does jump on and do a workout with you she'll know who the hell you are so so just remember ladies that that's open to us like that 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 workout anytime and we can use and abuse our beautiful coaches to yeah, help absolutely. Us. absolutely yeah uh, absolutely. and if you let let us know like if you let me know that there's someone that's coming at 5 30 in the morning and I will definitely look for them and say hi to them and right yeah okay Margot you can finish and yeah. No, as you can say, I'm about the scientist in the room. Um, I work with uh, neuroscientists uh, for the most part in neuro, the brain and all that stuff. And the reality, scientists are still human. So no matter what, whether you're dealing with a scientist or a, uh, or a popcorn stand person, they still have a body, they're still human. And the reality is in science, in neuroscience, is fitness is very good for the brain, very good for the brain. Uh -huh. And as you age, you need to get oxygen to the brain. Like it's, it's quite vital. So talk in the scientific terms, like just be real, just be, and if they don't want to do it, it sucks to be them because they, then they're, they're not really showing their smarts <laughs> if they don't want to try and get fit and healthy and they're scientists. Yeah. So that yeah. was my thought about that. <laughs> yeah. Thank Can't you. Can't wait to see you all in summit. Yeah. The ones that are here. I know um, Ashley, you're like, uh, a little bit far away make sure that you are all registered i'll put the link in the freshman free to be chat because i know lisa was struggling to find it so i'll put the link for um registering for summit make sure you are all registered do it today because um before june 18th gives you access to the sean t workout that's going to come and okay? it's coach summit I, i'll put the link in the, the the link that we sent to lisa was broken so okay. i'll put the the link in the in the chat. I'll make sure it works first. Okay. So have a wonderful day, everybody circling. I'm so happy you got to experience that in person. Now go share that love and that radiance with everyone else. Oh bye Alina. Yes, I saw her sunshine in, in Moscow where uh, here's in Moscow. pouring, pouring yeah. rain. It's, rain it's Alaska here. So have a wonderful Sunday. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your positivity. Love Thank you, you ladies. You. Besitos. Bye bye. Say hi.